Hey, what is going on pros and press? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing Clipso and this one is going to be Pink Guava Limeade. Limeade, represented for my channel, Mr. Lyman HD. No, I'm joking. Um, it's funny though, it's got Limeade and Mr. Lyman HD, but there we go. So I got this particular drink out of a random corner shop and it cost me £2.99. And they had all the flavours in there, so I bought all of them and thought I would review them. So these clips have been popping up kind of everywhere lately. I'm sure you guys have seen them in shops and predominantly kind of corner shops, really. They've been popping up a lot of, not really supermarkets, interestingly, but the corner shops just seem to be buying them like crazy. I don't, I don't know why, but there seems to be quite a lot of hype at the moment. Everyone's buying and raving about them, so I thought, yes, let's give them a review. So, Pink Guava Lime Age. So... All the other Clipso drinks I have reviewed have been a uh, lemonade base, where this one is the only one that I've seen in England uh, that has a limeade base. I have one more of these left, and it is the original, original lemonade, nothing else in it. So interestingly, that is, this is the only one with limeade in it. And pink wild, which is interesting against lime. So anyways, uh, give you guys a 4360 of the packaging. I'm just going to call it packaging glass, jar, bottle, just to make it easy. So of course, we have, we have glass, as I'm sure you guys can see. It's quite a big, uh, quite a big glass jar. I'm not too sure uh, how big it is, because of course it's American, so we have different... You know different uh, measurements if you want to call it so the front of the uh, front of the can we have a uh, quite you know a funky look it's just a nice clean looking modern design we have kind of you know cool clips are looking font we have you know big pictures of fruit cool looking font everyone just looks you know really nice uh, really nice design we also, have, we also have Clipso embedded in the actual glass jar to make it look cooler. On the back we have Jojo, Jojo himself with a little story which we'll get to in a second. And then we have nutritional facts rather than nutritional information because of course this is American and not English. On the bottom it just as it is. And on the top we have a green cap with the lime kind of segments imprinted on the top. And what does that say on top? It says get it popping just like the other, other ones do. We have this plastic around it, which will get off in a second. So it says shake well. I'll give it a good shake in a second because it was all settled to the bottom. And there's actually quite a lot of real bits in there. As it says, real Mr. Lime and HD bits. <laughs> that doesn't say Mr. Lime and HD, but it's, it says real lime bits. Um, so yeah, looking at the back of the jar. So we have 6% juice. And it says servings per container, 2.5, which is, which is weird. Why would you have two servings and then 0.5 of a serving? I don't know. That doesn't make sense. But it, according to that, that's 237 millilitres per... So, well, I don't know, because if it's 2.5, then that's two, two 370 millilitres and then some. So uh, it's, it's just weird, isn't it? How it's, how it's just weird how it's all labelled out. Um, sugar content is 27 grams. And again, that's got per serving. So we can go by, I assume that's 237 per serving or AFLOZ. Um, I think that's fluid ounces I think I'm not too sure and it's just it's just confusing I really don't get nutritional facts uh, vitamin A vitamin C calcium and iron are all zero percent yes they all say zero percent but they've still almost dropped that but they still listed them on there uh, reading the actual ingredients we have filtered water fresh fresh lime juice and lime juice on concentrate guava puree lime uh, lime fruit pulp and uh, apart from that, King Juice Company in Wisconsin, if I said that correct, in America. Uh, me, five cent or ten cents cash refund. Don't know American thing, isn't it? Natural flavors, island inspired. So anyway, let's read this story. So it says, you can find the color pink almost anywhere on the islands. Sunsets, drink umbrellas, guava limeade. Tourists from halfway across the globe who didn't think to pack any sunscreen. You just have to know where to look. Yeah. Guess that makes sense. So, anyways, guys, let's give it a good shake. Let's give it a good shake. I know we can see the colour, but I have just got a cup so we can see it a bit better. Let's give that a good shake. Hopefully, it doesn't explode over me. There we go. Right, where is the. Ooh, where is it? There it is. There we go. Nice and easy to get off. I've kept them on just to prove how easy these plastic covers are to get off, and they're nice and easy. <clears throat> there we go. A button pops up when seal is broken. Okay, don't explode. Blimey. Yep, okay, definitely don't explode. I know the other ones I reviewed of this. There's been some weird kind of smeg around the top. I think that's just where it sat for a while. Even even around the top, there's. I think it's just the bits of 
lie made, like the actual flesh of it, yeah, it looks like it. So anyways, let's um, pour some into the cup. I couldn't smell it while pouring it out, so we'll give it a closer smell in a second. So the colour is indeed pink. Again, I don't know if you can see the bits in there. I don't know if you can see the bits on the camera, but there definitely is real, uh, real lime bits in there, flesh bits, whatever you want to call it. Again, I don't know whether the camera can pick it up. But yeah, this one is cloudy and non-see-through. And uh, yeah, it's just a pinkish colour. Not like a bright pink, but, you know, just like a dull, kind of dull pink. Almost like a little bit reddish, actually, to most rather than pink. Just kind of reddish rather than anything. I know it says pink rather, but I guess it's a mixture between pink and red, really, at the end of the day. You know, it's not bright red and it's not bright pink. It's kind of just like, yeah, it's, it's in the middle. So let's give it a closer smell. Ooh, my word. That smells really strong of lime. Really strong of lime. Oh, blimey. Wow. Yeah, it smells really... It smells nice, because, you know, I like limes, hence my channel name. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's... Um, yeah, that smells really strong. Can't smell any of the guava, though. And I do like guava, by the way. I love Rubicon's guava. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm hoping this is going to be nice as well, backing up with the lime. But according to that smell, I can only smell lime. Anyways, guys, let's taste some. Oh, blimey. Oh my goodness. Wow. Talk about a strong lime. Wow. Okay, guys. So, again, with some of the other flavours. The guava flavour in this isn't strong at all. I'll just say, it is, it, the lime is so strong in that, it literally overpowers the rest of the drink in that. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, I'm just saying. So you drink it and you get a, a little bit of guava at the beginning and it's barely noticeable. Like, you know when you're drinking a normal Rubicon guava, you know it's Rubicon guava. But this, it's, you've got such a small bit of guava at the beginning, you, or barely noticeable. You wouldn't even think it's got guava in it because soon, like maybe, you know, half a sec, as soon as you drink it, that's gone. And then you just get suppressed with, suppressed? You get um, hit with this with this lime flavour, and it's a really, really strong, potent lime flavour. Almost like a, um, almost like a really strong limeade, for example, but probably limeade. Um, I know it, I know it does say it is limeade, but you would think it'd be a bit less limeade-y because it's got pink guava in it. But um, yeah, that limeade way overpowers the pink, the, uh, the uh, guava in this. Yeah, drink it, get a little bit of guava and that limeade just comes in. And the aftertaste as well is, is the limes as well. So a bit bad, maybe there's not as much guava, but I'm not going to complain. You know, it's still all right, you know. In terms of sweetness, though, I know some of these have been sweeter and less syrupy than the others. This was definitely a bit more, definitely a bit more sweeter because it's got the old lime, um, make, seems to make this drink a bit sweeter. So this one's definitely, definitely sweeter than some of the other ones I have reviewed. But, um... Yeah, again, regardless, it's still got, you know, a fair amount of sugar in it. But, again, would I drink this in, like, you know, one go? Well, to be honest, no. Because, I mean, A, because of all the sugar. But, B, I just think, like, these are more better to to sip on. Like, you know, maybe pour into a nice cup, have some ice, you know, maybe have a straw. You know, maybe put a lemon on the side or something. Maybe sip. I find that better with these drinks. I want just, you know, you take, like, a bottle of Coca Cola and you can just drink it over and over again. You know what I mean? But... These, I think because they're just some of these seem so heavy and just more because these seem quite thick and I know that makes sense not thick as in like milkshake thick but when you make like a normal juice drink say with water and you put the juice in that's like really thin if you know what I mean and then you get this and it's like it just seems like it's not really thin and watery it just seems you know it's packed sugar you know lots of this and that and it. it just seems you know really really on that side should be something more to sip but regardless it's still you know it's still nice i do like the lime side to it a nice good strong lime flavor albeit not much guava but um yeah it's just just another another clips i drink i guess yeah some people might find the lime a bit toilet cleanery lime but i know lime can sometimes taste a bit funny like that but um like i said i like limes and as a lime flavor that's that's why although you know, this one's definitely sweeter than some of the others. But nevertheless, guys, I will give that a thumbs up. So as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all later.